Now, I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. Omarosa has been let go, child, by General John Kelly after all of that shucking and jiving she did for the Trump administration. Every critic, every detractor will have to bow down to President Trump. They always have his back. He values loyalty. Well, child, it sounds like that loyalty got her let go, honey, and I hope she's not trying to get that black card reactivated, honey. Now, Omarosa's camp is trying to say that Trump's endorsement of Roy Moore is the reason why she wanted to resign, but political analyst and ex-friend to Omarosa, April Ryan, said that it definitely didn't go down like that, honey. Try to go into the residence. Oh, my goodness. And mind you, General Kelly has cut off her access, walk-in access to go into the Oval Office and things of that nature. He, uh, security alerted General Kelly. He came back down, told Secret Service to take her out of there. Wow. She was escorted off the property. Uh, so whenever, when this did happen, did you try to enter the residency, <laughs> residence and did no. that happen? Were the, you White House is the, the White House is the most secure place in the world. It is ridiculous to assert that anyone would be able to violate the security parameters that is outlined in the most secure building in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I still think she did it. And you say you resigned. So when you resigned, the reports that you were escorted off the grounds. Were you escorted off? No, I was not. And in fact, Secret Service put out the statement because I think that they were bothered with the assertion that they were involved with any type of escorting or shutting me down, that sort of thing. And well, one thing the Secret Service did tweet out is that they deactivated your pass. So, so you get two passes. But, but if I'm they glad did that, you but you're going to work that. until the 20th. Why would they deactivate your pass I'm now? glad you asked me that because there are three complexes in the White House. And as you are restricted or limited, your access to certain areas is restricted. No one has reported that except for one individual who has a personal vendetta against me. Child, it sounds like a whole bunch of backpedaling to me. April Ryan sounds a little bit more credible at this point, but I cannot believe last night when Angela Rye had this to say about Omarosa. Nah, uh, Simone are too good of people to do, and that's just gonna be petty for a minute. Ah! <laughs> oh, Angela. Oh, bye, Angela. girl. Oh, bye. Angela. We did it already uh -uh. on the podcast, April, but bye, honey. You have never represented the community. You are skin folk. We don't own you like Zora. Goodbye, oh. good riddance. Goodbye. Deuces. Angela. Ow. Oh, making sure that I'm fighting for my community. Oh, making sure that I'm fighting for my community. Now, which community she's referring to, I definitely don't know, but I can tell you that it's not the African American community, child. Maybe she's the president of the neighborhood watching something. Now, while she's over there softly trying to scream black power and try to ease back into the quote-unquote community that she says she's there for, the Secret Service had this to say about her termination. The Secret Service was not involved in the termination process of Ms. Manigault Newman or the escort off the complex. Our only involvement in this matter was to deactivate the individual's pass which grants access to the complex. So in other words, sis, they confirmed that you was fired and they also confirmed that they took your pass to the entire complex, sis. Not the bathroom, not the kitchen, not the closet, the entire complex is. So now what I need you to do is go by Stacey Dash house and go pick her up. Y'all gonna be filming the Louise for a while. Get in the car and y'all play this song. I wanna spread the news that if it feels it's a good getting used. Oh, you just keep on using me. Until you use me up. You big dummy. Before I go, y'all, April Ryan had this to say as I was saving my video. Well, I've been doing this for 20 years at the White House, been in the business for 30. I've been covering any and all things presidential because that's what a White House correspondent does. Listens to sources inside the White House and outside of the White House. Continuing to hear things from all sides, credible sources, and I'm not the only one. I may have broken the story, but at CBS, ABC, and the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, I'm not the only one. I have no vendetta. Ryan said plainly, I'm a reporter who is covering the beat. What I need you guys to do is leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this entire crazy situation, and we'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.